sitting there as an audience member thinking, what are they going to do next? I mean, they haven't practiced. I mean, they don't know what they're going to do next. And we, you know, you know that we don't know. And so there is an absolute authenticity about that. We can't, we can't hide. conducting the signals um, and the signals function as um, ways of pointing which role the, the improvising singers should should do. It's a fantastic um, fantastic thrill to be in the center of the sound um, and like a sculptor shaping the sound. We make a piece just around one particular um, colour or gesture and then, but how that actually is formed and you know the solos that go on top of it and so forth happens spontaneously through the feeling in the moment or through the conducting that's happening and the conducting is responding intensely to what's going on in the present moment. interested in you know a very pure sound against a very rough sound rather than let's all get a blended perfect sound together which is kind of what choirs tend to aim for I kind of want the opposite of blend lineup of the singers is so varied in in their genre backgrounds and what I wanted to come from that was this melting pot of clashes between the energies their content, their, what they're providing, is their whole self. They aren't just there as musicians. I need, they know I need more than that from them. And um, that's what they love about it, because they are free. They're free to be themselves. They are on their own edge, as I am conducting. We are all on our own edge, and that makes it utterly sort of unpredictable in some ways. And there's a kind of, um, you kind of resonate as an audience member into the vulnerability of what we're doing. So 
they're living the emotions and the energies of, of what's happening. So it's, uh, it's music, but it's a bit more than music. Get up, 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 get up,